Hello, welcome back. Today, finally, we have Uncle Roger's new video, and it's only 3 million. So, yeah, fried rice cooking video. Apparently, this is a uh, make egg fried rice for Michelin star chef. Can he do it though? Does he use uh, MSG? Does he make a lot of wok hay from that? Right, let's watch. <laughs> Induction stove high. Uh... Oh, oh, that looks, that looks good. That looks good. But is he gonna use an induction stove though? Let's watch. Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger hit 3 million subscribers. Thank you to all my niece and nephew. And as promised, I'm gonna make my egg fire rice today. This video is sponsored by Sasa. Ah, I knew there's a sponsorship Roger, for this. Favorite Indonesian seasoning brand. For this video, Uncle Roger back at May May, where I got my first job. What what is vegan? Like no animal products. No animal product. You so you go your life just eat leaf. This is May May's <laughs> boss, Liz, to get my job back. I will impress you with my egg fire rice. But first, tell our viewer, what is Mei Mei? Um, Mei Mei is a Singaporean coffee tiam. So we do Singaporean coffee tea. We specialize in Hunanese chicken rice. Nice mac, which I'm sure you're a fan Ooh. of. You steal all the Malaysian food. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, I hear you have Michelin star. I mean, yeah, that, that's technically what we have as well in, uh, in Malaysia. So, I, I mean, we can't just say, oh, it's our kind of food. So, yeah. Is that correct? In my last restaurant, yeah, I had a Michelin star. Three, oh, how many Michelin star? One. Just one? Uncle Gordon have 22. <laughs> Failure. It's still more than you. Oh, <laughs> I haven't even cooking. I already got roasted. So I'm going to be reviewing your egg fried rice. I've seen as you review so many others. So I'm going to be quite harsh on you. Hiya, uh, so much pressure. Uncle Roger, not professional chef. I just home cook. Now I'm going to be judged my Michelin star chef. Yeah, all right. Wow. <laughs> that one, throw away your chili jam. This is not Jamie Oliver cooking. Show. <laughs> have... Still dishing him. Whoa. My god, yeah. What? what? Is he is he put it there just for the heck of it? <laughs> one of your knives. No, no, no. This is paring knife. This is not used for chopping. This list tried to trick me. <laughs> this is more like it. Asian people, when we okay. cook, all we need is one knife. First I mean, I don't always garlic. use that kind. So one portion of egg fire I use like rice, a long, longer one. Asian people love garlic. We treat garlic like we treat our children. They never enough. <laughs> you smash the garlic so you don't end up like K cooking. The garlic don't run away from you. <laughs> He's literally making this video it's like a summary of his entire YouTube channel. Like the, the people that he roasted or dish, you know. Oh. Oh. Uncle Roger, not the best garlic chopper, but don't worry, everything look cooler in slow motion. <laughs> so Liz, no, what do you think of my chopping so, so far? It could be a bit finer. Just complain. <laughs> garlic is the best thing ever. Many people complain garlic gives them bad breath. But don't worry, Uncle Roger single, not kissing anyone anyway. That is one good part about being lonely. Nobody know you have bad breath. Now we chop shallot. Shallot is better shallot. version of onion. Really? I never try shallot though. For your egg fire rice. Only poor people use onion. Me. And then you slice it from the middle. Be careful your hands. Don't worry, hospital very close. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, now I know what's shallot, okay. I don't know what's the, what is it called in English, I'm so sorry. Ah, I mean, definitely, this is, tastes better. Now, time for egg. Uncle Roger like to use one full egg and one egg yolk. This is technique I learned from Malaysian chef Sherson Lian. Check out his YouTube channel. Sherson Lian. Many people say egg yolk give you cholesterol. But Uncle Roger say cholesterol is full of flavor. With <laughs> the egg. No, Everything's bad is so apparently I, full of flavor. Uh, no Asian person use whisk. We whisk egg with chopstick. What kind of Asian restaurant you run? Why you have whisk? <laughs> you have whisk, do you also have colander? No. <laughs> Next, we chop... Uh, I, I, maybe she hide this it though. This is another classic Asian ingredient. Chop away the shit Salary. you don't need. Throw <laughs> away, we use some stock. You use the shit you don't need? Yeah. Michelin star <laughs> chef love using trash to cook their food. <laughs> 
Oh. Another great thing of using big knife, it can almost become plate. See? Last thing you need to chop is chili. Uncle Roger loves spice because Uncle Roger not pussy. And of course, for egg fire rice, mm. you have to use leftover rice. But this mm -hmm. is Uncle Roger's biggest secret. It's not just any leftover rice. This is leftover chicken, chicken rice. rice. This is rice Hainanese cook. chicken rice. Uh, whenever we have Hainanese chicken rice, it's like actually oily kind of a rice in here. I don't know. Like some of this yellow rice. That's oil rice, brown rice. I don't know. Right? So maybe they are different. With chicken stock, ginger and garlic. Full of flavour. Because you leave it overnight, now the rice is so separate. Wear a glove. You are touching it with your hands right now. It's not hygienic. Okay. I do not approve that. I mean, yeah, if you are doing it at home, yeah, but... Outside, when someone's actually judging you, no. That's so nice. Mmm. This rice feels better than woman. Uncle Roger, stop touching the rice. Auntie had and left Uncle Roger too long now. This is the only time I get to touch something <laughs> moist. <laughs> Sorry, children. How many rice cooker you have? Four. Four! Uncle Aww. Roger, walk fuckboy. At least it's rice cooker fuck girl. You also need soy sauce, Asian sesame oil, must be Asian. And of course, we must not forget the most important ingredient. The king of flavour. Yeah. Uncle Roger's white powder of choice. MSG. Mm. Do you use MSG in your cooking now? We do now, Uncle Yay. Roger. I think we're really? gonna get second Michelin star soon. Uncle Roger using my favourite brand of MSG, Sasa. This is from Indonesia. Uncle Roger samples so many different types of MSG and this tastes the best. This packaging will be the last of this year. Really? Next year, they're gonna improve their packaging, Ooh. make it even more pretty. I okay. see so many niece and nephew make egg fried rice. I like how he is so hard promoting this thing. Is that his only promo? I mean like... Uh, sponsorship? I mean he has ExpressVPN at some point but it's, I don't think he's getting it anymore. Maybe. Carrot or peas high. Uh, don't use vegetable. Use vegetable chicken. Tastes like that. Yeah, but I I tried like uh three eggs fried rice, like goose egg, chicken egg, and uh what's the other egg? I don't know, the black color one. And uh yeah, that's the I like that fried rice a lot. We call it some sick tau fan. If you are Chinese, you know what I say. And the other kinds of fried rice is not into my taste. I don't like it though. So, yeah, maybe maybe we can uh, actually... I mean, I can actually make a video of me cooking that some sick chow fun. Maybe. If this video gets 1000 likes, I'll make a cooking fried rice video. Moving on. Okay, now we start cooking. But we got one problem. Induction stove. Hi. Please uh... wear your fire. Wear your gas stove. Well, we don't have any gas connection here, Uncle Roger, but this is not the average induction for the home. This is the top of the range induction for chefs. You get a really good what hey. Uncle Roger want to work here, so I will try to use this. Uncle Roger gonna cook with this. Oh. It is metal spoon. He had to but use the induction worry. stove. Professional wok, not non-stick wok. So if you use metal spoon in this, your mom won't come and beat you. <laughs> First coat the wok with oil, and this is peanut oil because Uncle Roger loves to kill all the weak peanut allergy people. Once the oil That's a starts lot of smoking, throw oil. away the oil for Exo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Apart from the peanut oil thing. But... Don't use peanut oil? No, we don't use peanut oil here because we don't want to kill anyone. Oh. They're not weak to us. This is your problem. <laughs> if you can't use peanut oil, vegetable oil, okay also. Just don't use olive oil. This is not Jamie Oliver cooking <laughs> Again? <laughs> Spread the oil nicely around the wok. Okay, first thing in, garlic and shallot. Mm -hmm. mm. Fry it a bit until it's fragrant. Next step, egg. Ooh. Stir it around when it's almost all solid like this. Time for the rice. 
Uncle Roger, oh, use never hands. measure. Because Asian people, when we cook, we don't measure. We just use feeling. Aga, aga. Aga, aga. Aga, aga. Aga, aga. It's a bit dry, so I'll put a bit more oil in there. Now oh we my. add soy sauce. We just use feeling. We put soy sauce in until our ancestors tell us it's enough. Sesame oil. Oh wow, that, is that how you the cook rice fried rice? So they rice? don't clump together. And now the most important ingredient, MSG Fuyo. Wait, 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 wait. Is it done cooking though? Oh, never mind, oh. just keep watching. That's a lot. And your final garnish, spring onion and chili. Stir everything around. This Do you really guys put that much of that MSG? Uncle Roger changed my mind. Ooh. Oh, that looks good though. Oh, not bad, Uncle Roger. Good height. You've had a lot of practice at tossing, huh? Oh, Uncle Roger loves tossing. It's my favorite thing to do. That's why Auntie Helen leaves. Now ready <laughs> Wait, to does that make sense? See, so simple. Five minutes. That's all you really? need for Uncle Roger egg fire rice. That's like eight minutes for me. Not too bad. Okay. You're a little messy. But it's okay. It's okay. Professional kitchen got professional cleaner. When I cook at home, I'm more tidy because I clean myself. But a professional kitchen, you can hire people clean for you. But you're going to be cleaning this, Uncle no, Roger. No, no, no. I applying job as chef, not as cleaner. <laughs> Taste test. Now time for taste test. Hi, uh, Asian people, we don't eat rice with fork. Okay, this is better. Eat a spoon or chopstick only. Not bad, Uncle Roger. Not bad? Not a lot of MSG. Not yeah. a lot of MSG, just the right amount. That's a lot, no though. No such thing as too much MSG. Sometimes we complain food too salty or food too sweet, but nobody ever complain food too umami. <laughs> oh, this guy looks so familiar. I think he is peanut allergy guy from First May May Weijo. Why you don't want peanut? Oh, oh what? Shit. Why yeah, so man. weak? So weak. Uh, do you guys have anything on today? Any hot food? We have egg fried rice on the menu today. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's got peanut oil. Hi. Uh... I can see why you review other people's egg fried rice. It's not bad for a home cook. Okay, okay. I'll show you how a Michelin star will cook this. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Masterclass. The technique you got just right. Heat up the oil to season the wok. You just want to get it nice and smoky. Get that wok hay. Hi, uh, takes so long. Uncle Roger finished cooking and eating already. Instead of using oil, I'm going to use some pork fat. Because pork fat? Yeah, I like the flavour of pork fat. You didn't tell Uncle Roger you have pork fat. Uncle Roger loves... A pork fat is like... Um, it gives that aroma when you're like... Even we tried that on like barbecue and stuff, you can just oil up the, the food and it tastes better. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't expect to use pork uh, on the fried rice. Pork pig are the smartest but also delicious animal. <laughs> but you use pork fat. Nobody have pork fat at home. They can, you can buy it. But if you're vegetarian, don't use. Just of use course. vegetable oil. Eggs going in. So are you saying vegetarian people don't deserve flavour? The rice is going in. A may may <laughs> I mean the taste of a vegetarian. Like they have mock chicken, mock pork, mock beef. They taste nothing like that at all. It just looks like looks like it maybe. But actually it's not that I don't know man. I'm not vegetarian. Uh chicken rice. Oh MSG? Why so little? <laughs> MSG not expensive. Don't be so stingy. Use more. Use more. No, no. That's enough. Hi Soy sauce is quite salty already. And white pepper. White pepper? Oh, Uncle Roger forgot about that ingredient. And then with mine, I got the spring onion, garlic, chive and chilli. Oh, Michelin star tossing. Messy also. <laughs> Hi. Uh... 
Uncle Roger, it may may make uh, Sambal Black Chan. This oh. is the ingredient Uncle Gordon used in his video to Michelin star egg fried rice. Let's see how it tastes. It's a spoon this time. Yes, correct. Mmm. Mmm. This really good. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit better than my version. Just a little bit. So you're saying I'm just Sambal and, and pop, pop fat away. away from being Michelin star chef? There's a little bit more hard work in, involved in it, but yes. Uncle Roger approved. Good. She is officially Auntie Liz now. Oh, what, so we're married? <laughs> no, no, Uncle Roger don't want to marry you. Hi, yeah. <laughs> I just call you Auntie Liz out of respect. Okay, like I take Uncle the respect. Gordon. Who want to marry you? Hi, yeah. Peanut allergy guy. Peanut allergy guy, your husband? Yeah. Plot twist. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, now, now, now it explains why he's there. All right. Fire rice, so exhausting. What do you think of my fire rice? What do you think? Not bad, Uncle Roger. For a home cook, it was pretty good. The cutting just needs to be a bit faster and what? a little tidier. Okay, what about cooking? Technique okay? Technique good. What about my wok tossing? You can tell you've had a lot of practice at the wok tossing. So nice coming from Michelin star chef, make mm. Uncle Roger feel so special. Oh. Oh. If you in London, come to I thought he was going to do the, the so twice song. Hopefully you will have your egg fried rice on the menu soon. They will. Uncle Roger's egg fried rice. With my face on the box? Maybe. Ooh. To all my niece and nephew, thank you so much for your support. 3 million subscribers is insane number. Hope you keep watching. Bye bye. Why oh. you fire Uncle Roger? Hi. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is very really hard today, actually. <laughs> Underneath chicken rice. Uh, nice little mac, which I'm sure you're a fan of. You steal all the Malaysian food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. So anyway, keep that in. Uh, that's what I said oh, just now. So Singapore restaurant just steal Malaysian food? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> we treat garlic like we treat our children. They are never enough. <laughs> Bruh. True that. Yeah. God, that's so brutal. Yeah. That is one good part about being lonely. Nobody know you have bad breath. <laughs> okay. And then we cut, cut to... Now we chop shallot. <laughs> if you see Asian restaurant with whisk, run away because they also will have colander. Liz, you have whisk, but do you also have colander? Only for if the BBC are here. Oh, <laughs> are you Liz, or are you oh my god. Do you feel you are old or young? I'm both, aren't I? <laughs> Auntie Helen left me too long now. This is the Cold. only time I can touch something wet. <laughs> Sorry, children. <laughs> it's a long train. It becomes white noise to me after yeah, a while. Yeah. Probably got to sleep without that sound. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you one weak customer? <laughs> I'm married to one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what you think? What you think? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way the voice goes up at the end. <laughs> Gets me. So that was Uncle Roger egg fried rice. Mm. Liz, what you think? What you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's like your balls dropped. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. My balls retract. <laughs> How many times are we gonna shit on Jamie Oliver? Not enough. In one <laughs> <laughs> not Sorry, enough. <laughs> okay. Plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> like a K drum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounded back in there. Alright, so that's it for this video. Finally he made his fried rice. Well, yeah, I I I I didn't expect it's gonna be like Michelin star kind of a uh, fried rice. Uh like five star, four star, three star, yeah. Um, yeah, he he's just doing for the content for like reacting to fried rice and stuff. And uh that's a really a lot of MSG. Oh my it terrifies me but so he did it at least so i'm not sure if i should do one probably after i get 1000 likes on this video maybe right i'm not good at cooking so i probably need some practice i need to take some time to actually 
and learn how to cook a uh, fried rice so yeah uh the, the the outtakes are actually more funnier than it actually than the actual video you know what do you guys think do you like his uh fried rice it looks good to me though and uh if he really made it to this Mei Mei restaurant's uh, menu and Kuro just fried rice why not man go give it a try if you're near there or you're you know near a country to that like takes maybe just like a few couple of hours just to go there yeah come on just try it if it's on the menu though if for me to go there probably takes like more than 10 hours so oof so i i don't know maybe i have one day i have a chance to go there right so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoy what you see here and also the fried rice stuff um i'm not sure what's the next upload gonna be about because i think he's hitting something hitting a limit Ten think uh, also yeah um turn on the bell notifications check me check me out as well in twitch nikito underscore gaming and as always thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye